What is going on guys and welcome back for another video by myself obsidian on green hell and we are continuing the challenges with our fifth one so far in this series and it is the fisherman so I don't think this is going to be a hard one and I've said this on all the other challenges but I don't think this is going to be a hard one I think this is going to be quite an easy one set up a few traps come back to them we've got them out with how hard can it be so our challenge is to collect them by 10 34th of January what are we on now? So we've got three days to do it. Shouldn't be too bad. So we've got collected a piranha, peacock bass, arowana, I don't know how you pronounce it, stingray, angelfish, discus fish, red crab, snail, and a prawn. So prawns can all be collected by the prawn trap, don't forget, guys. And the rest of them should be okay. So I think I'm on Anaconda Island, actually, as well. So it's a good little location for us. Stingrays are normally around... These little streams, if you run up and down, you might be able to find them. And we're in the second part, so... It's going to be new territory for myself, but there's a lot of waterfalls where we can find the arowana fishes. Um, crabs are always getting about, so let's get a spear. Some tools, we can make a bow. Try and make a fishing rod. And then we can make a fishing rod trap then, can't we? So there's our snail, straight away. Easiest one to find, because they're always on rocks. Uh, no, just, just pick it up, brother. Pick it up, don't try and destroy it. I haven't got a rock yet, have I? So that's why I can't crack it up and Oh, crabs, they are there. We've got crabs, guys. We've got crabs. <laughs> if you ne never made a fishing rod as well, guys, I've got a video down below, but I will show you on this video as well. I'll do like a little step-by-step -step for you how to do it. What we're going to do guys, we're going to chop these long bamboo sticks down and then we're going to make ourselves a bamboo spear. And then also I'm going to make a bamboo bow and arrow as well. And let's get back down to the coast and we can start hunting a couple of crabs. Where was they? We've got ourselves an alligator, we've got to stay away from that one. Easy swing with crabs guys, just chase after them. Give it a nice little stab. I can hear it but I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. He's, he's very determined, isn't he? He's a determined little fella. Alright, stingrays. They're, that's got to be a crafty one to try and find because don't really stand out in the water too much. But it's normally these little streams. Here we have it, guys. So the best way to find stingrays is look for these little streams. Try to jump up on a rock every so often as you're running down. And there it is. That's the little guy we need. Let's throw the spear and miss. <laughs> they are like snakes, so be careful. They can get you and very poisonous, so be careful with that one, guys. But yeah, phone goes at the right wrong time, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so that is the stingray out of the way. I thought that was going to be the hardest one to find, but we found that one pretty fast, actually, didn't we? So the coordinates for this one, guys, is right near where we start off. And it's 37 west, 23 south. So if you jump up at these rocks, just have a look down and you can see the little guys swimming around. Oh, what was that? Ganeo the relegator again. He's very persistent, this guy. He's been following me for a while. So if you come onto Anaconda Island, there's going to be a couple of things we're going to be finding useful here. So you got the fishing rod, which we're going to need. If I can actually pick it up, let's change the stone into there. So we've got a fishing rod, and down on the sides, if you run around the sides, you should be able to see a fishing trap as well for prawns, and that will then give us prawns. I'm hoping there's got to be prawns inside already. We've got our turtle already, which is a good handy thing to have, so we get fresh water from that. So we see a turtle, we'll always grab them. There it is. Okay, so that is what you're looking for. This little trap. So, food. 
Oh my god, it's sneaky. Ah, run! <laughs> run! So that is our fishing trap just there. The alligator, unfortunately, has cost me my spear. It's very persistent. We've seen some feathers, so we can make some arrows. There he is. There's the tail. I see him. I see him. So I'm about to get my spear. Oh, he's close. We haven't got any feathers yet. So we can make some arrows for our bow. Oh, right in the eye. That's got to hurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Run! <laughs> Where's the spear I made? Where's the other spear? <gasps> Where's the spear? <gasps> Luckily, he's very slow, but I'm out of energy. Very quickly. Okay, long stick, long stick, there we go. Make another spear, one more shot should do it. Where is he? Is that it? He's very still, is he dead? Hello? I think he's dead. I think it bled out. Okay, the spear to the face worked. <laughs> Woo! I can go for that. Oh, there's one inside already. Oh, there we go. We've got our prone. So there's one inside already. You don't actually need bait. Oh well. I'll stick some bait on just to be on the safe side. So, since we do need the grappling hook to get back to the first part of the island on the first map, another way you can do it is Anaconda Island is up there. So if you just keep running north, Following up where we found the stingray around them sections with a rock, keep following it down and you come to here. And all you need to do is jump down, give it a swim, and this will take you back to the first part of the island. So you can get there without using the grappling hook with no problems whatsoever. And then you just follow this round. And here we are, we're on the first part of the island. To get down without breaking the legs, all you need to do is go near the edge and you just wiggle your mouse left or right or your analog sticks and he will fall down a little bit on his own. And there you go. When making your way back as well guys towards the first part of the map where we're going, just be careful of uh, tribes as well. There seems to be a lot of tribes for some reason on these challenges. I've just seen an archer walking down this direction. Uh, might be a stingray in the water as well. Oh, this is jaggery territory. <laughs> Either way, it's going to be quite dangerous for us. So make sure you got plenty of arrows. Just in case you do come across anyone. There he is, walking off in the distance. So keep following this line. And then we'll go and end up over at the dock. Like the doctor got a fishing trap recipe as well for you. I think there's always an angel fish inside the trap as well waiting. So that's another one done. And there's piranhas here as well. So we're kind of getting two for one, aren't we? Fishing trap, there it is. And that's our discus fish. Now this is going to be a bit of a tricky one now. Because this is where the piranhas are, as you can see them. Wait for them, they'll come to you. Believe it or not. Now, I've got bandages in my bag ready. So if we do get bitten, we can try and get it. Got you. Damn oh. it! Oh, I've got bit, I've got bit. Ah, get out, get out, get out! Quick! Quick! Oh, I thought I'd done it without getting bit as well. There, we've got a tobacco dress and stick that on and we need to try and grab the dead fish whilst we can without getting eaten. 
This is quite a tricky one, actually. I thought it would have been a bit easier. So we can take the arrow. There we go, we got it. Oh, no space in the bag. Trust me, mate, I will make space for you. There we go, piranha fish. Done! Woo, I can't believe I no got eaten off that one. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to make our way, following this up. Let's have a look which direction we're going to be going in. So we're going up north east from here. I'm going to get some sleep to the morning, follow it up north east, and then we've got our next lot of fish just up there for us. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> Hi, friend. How are you doing? Oh, come on. He stood up and took it in the butt. He got shot in the butt then because he stood up in front of his friend. Playing fire. Oh, you bugger, you got me. Okay, if that doesn't heal first time around, we'll have to get some ants and then cover that up. I've got a guide as well, guys, for how to gather ants and all the different medical things for us. So that is on the playlist on my profile. So if you go see that, hopefully that will help you quite a bit as well for everything you need for that side of uh, the medicals. We've got another tribe just over there as well. My God, they're everywhere, aren't they, these guys? So if we just follow this little river up, we should get a couple more fish in it we need. A little bit of a tip for you as well, guys. If the water's a little bit too deep for you to grab it, if you go in your menu, you can hover your mouse around where you think it was, and you can pick it up. Where is it? There it is. So, let's drop you there, set. Harvest you. And there you go, you can pick it straight into your bag. So if the water's a little bit too deep, you can still grab them, so it's not too bad there. Right, we need an angelfish and an arowanda. So arowanda's there, pretty much back at the start. The very start on the story of the mission. So we need to go there now. For both angelfish and disc fish, guys, they are in these little small traps. If you make the little ones, they'll come for it. So for our final fish, is going to be the Arowana. We are currently at 45 West, 32 South. This is a starting location on story mode. And they are going to be in this section here. So what you need to do is just walk into about midway through and they'll start up here. They'll swim quite near you, like so. <coughs> and just give it a stab. And that's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you might have learned something. Let me know down in below the comments and all that. How did you find this challenge as well for yourself? So take care of yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.